My name is Dr. Gary Goldfeden, and one of the more common uh, reasons that people come to my office is to ask me about uh, the possibility of whether or not they have skin cancer. Usually what brings them into the office is a sore or an open area on their skin on any part of the body which has not healed or a spot on their body that is scaly or flaky or one that is beginning to bleed or cause pain. Skin cancers are divided into many different fashions. The most common skin cancers we see would be number one, basal cell skin cancer. They usually present themselves as a shiny, clear, somewhat pearlish gray lesion. Usually it is not bleeding. It's usually very round and dome shape. However, occasionally they can present as a flat lesion itself. About 75% of skin cancers are the basal cell type. The good thing about it is that these usually do not spread inside the body and usually they grow by direct extension. So if you had a basal cell carcinoma and you had it for some time, the likelihood it would get bigger in size. However, keep in mind that not only may a basal cell get bigger in size, it may also become deeper. The second most commonest form of skin cancer is called squamous cell skin cancer and it approximately makes up about 15% of skin cancer. This is the skin cancer that is more than likely directly related to sun exposure. Classically presents itself on any part of the body, usually on frequently exposed portions of the body, such as the hands and the face. Squamous cell skin care does have the ability to spread to other parts of your body. It should be attended to. The more likelihood is it's going to spread usually depends on the closeness to an opening of the body. So one close to the lip or close to the ear or close to other openings of the body have the potential to spread to other areas. However, usually with squamous cell skin cancer, it's best to seek advice and eradicate them as small as they can be in the most effective way at that particular time. The first two skin cancers are usually removed uh, by either surgical excision, um, laser surgery, and or by what we call desiccation and curatage, which is a combination of scraping and burning. Um, the technique that's used will be discussed by you and your physician and depending on the location and the surgical outcome, the determination of what type of surgery you would like to have it done could be carried out. The third skin cancer that we see, and thank goodness uh, a very relatively rare case, would be melanoma. Melanoma can become a life-threatening disease. It's important that if you see a dark mark, if you see something that starts bleeding, if you see a change in a mole, either by change in size, bleeding, or pain, that you seek care with your physician. Usually for any of these skin cancers, the initial treatment would be diagnosis, total body examination, a small piece of the growth would be removed in a biopsy type procedure, and then once the pathology report would be returned, a determination would be made what would be the most appropriate type of treatment that would be carried out, and then the decision would be made how to treat it then.